Jim with Sump Pumps Direct, your product expert. Uh, I want to talk to you today a little bit about uh, switches for sump pumps. Um, tell you what's the best switch to go with. Um, you know, in most cases when you buy a pump these days, um, it's going to have a integrated float to it. It's going to be a vertical float, kind of like the one up in the right, right hand corner over here. Um, it's going to have a float on a shaft that just rises up at the water level, turns on when it hits the top, turns off. When the water drops down and that float hits the bottom, the weight of that switch pulls the, the uh, internal mechanism down and turns the pump off. Um, those switches usually have anywhere between a three and a five or six inch differential on it. So that's going to be about how much water you're going to pump out of your pit per cycle, between about three and five inches. Um, good in most cases, and most cases you're fine, but sometimes you want to be able to control that water rate a little bit better and pump more water out when possible or have a switch that's not gonna wear out as often. Mechanical switches, again, they have mechanical parts, so they're gonna wear out a lot quicker than electronic switch um, by uh, quite, a, quite a long shot at this point. Uh, most of your mechanical switches were gonna last anywhere from about 200,000 to 300,000 cycles, whereas some of the electronic switches are gonna go you know, over a million, sometimes three or four million cycles. Uh, in most cases, they'll wear out um, the pump will wear out before the switch does, um, which is a great thing because in most pumps with the mechanical switches, the switch is the weak link, and that's what causes most of your pump failures. So, again, it, it really depends on you know, what you've got going, um, what your the basin dimensions are, how wide, how deep that basin is. If you've got a narrow and small basin, you're really kind of limited to a vertical float switch, and you typically want to use a smaller horsepower pump. Um, if you have a larger basin, then you can go with something like a tether float like you see over here. Again, it's a mechanical switch, but you have some room to play with that. Um, you can lengthen or shorten the length of that cord that you see over here, um, thereby lengthening or shortening the run time on that pump. Um, or you can go with an electronic switch. The Level Guard is right now our top selling uh, electronic switch. No moving parts. It's been tested to over 4 million cycles. So. Again, that in most cases will outlast a pump in many cases. We also have the hydro check down here in the bottom right. Uh, it comes This particular model comes with two, two uh, probes. These uh, get attached to the discharge pipe. One is your on probe, one is your off probe. So if you have a larger basin, you can really fine tune your levels on that for, for your pumping cycles. So um, that gives you a rough idea of what they have, what's available over there. Uh, if we take a look at our website real quick, we can show you that um, these are available on our main page for um, it's under it's going to be listed under accessories and under sump pump switches. If you look over here and go to the top of the page, click on accessories, you're going to see switches up here. You can just click on the picture, you get all kinds of different switches that we offer on our website. There's your level guard again, our top selling switch, other options. There's your hydro check. Um, other options you can go with, as I talked about, mechanical and electronic. But that just gives you an idea of what's available on our site and, uh, you know, why you want to go with a different type of switch over just a regular vertical float switch. So hope that helps you out a little bit. If you have any questions, call me, email me through our website. Um, you can also look at the link that you're seeing on the website as well. Um, until next time, hope to talk to you soon. Take care. Have a great day.